25, new details on a local man found guilty of beating a neighbor's dog to death with a cane. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Pixoto spoke to the man's wife at his sentencing today. She joins us now with what else happened in court. Nicola Padalano received the maximum sentence in Superior Court. His wife watched on in tears as he was taken away in handcuffs. She declined to go on camera but defended her husband, telling me it's unfair and he was only trying to protect their own dog. The court considers this crime grave and severe. And with that, Judge Sarah Taft Carter sentenced Padalano to two years in prison, four months to serve in the ACI. The Cranston man was convicted of beating his neighbor's eight pound Yorkie to death with a wooden cane. It happened back in November. Of 2014. Prosecutors say when Missy saw Patalano with his 20 pound mutt, she jerked the leash from her elderly owner's hand and ran towards Patalano. She wrote how she's still haunted by questions. The questions of why didn't he stop? Why did he have to kill my dog? Patalano's attorney says he acted in self defense. He is the beaten dog right now, beaten down by this system. Did your client have any other options other than beating the dog with a cane? Could he pick uh, my, up his My own client dog? is a six year old disabled man with a cane. The reason he was he, all he could do was fend, him, fend the dog off with the cane. Prosecutors say Patalano hit Missy several times on her head and body while her owner screamed for him to stop. Is your client remorseful? He's, my, my, my client, you have to understand is being sentenced because he protected his dog from attack. Police say Patalano admitted he hit the Yorkie with the intention of killing her. This was a malicious beating that no creature should ever endure. Patalano's attorney argued the court sentenced his client on a case that it didn't have jurisdiction over. It's a crazy case and it's a crazy sentence and we're going to get it overturned. Along with the prison time, Patalano must pay the Rhode Island SPCA $500, serve 100 hours of community service, attend anger management classes and have no contact with the Yorkies owner. In the control room, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.